management, money management, trading psychology, uh, trading journal, and all of that, they all contribute to the success of a forex trader. But one most important thing, one most important thing that helped me to be where I am today, or one thing that strives to improve my trading uh, uh, and my profitability every day is risk to reward. So today, I'm going to be able to explain to you what is risk to reward and how you can apply it to your trading to skyrocket your profit from zero to, to the sky. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm in Demarzel Golov. On this channel, we talk everything trading, uh, business, personal finance, and tips to help you uh, stay profitable as a Forex trader. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, risk to reward. So, what is risk to reward? Risk to reward or the risk to reward ratio is just a metric which traders uh, use to measure the amount they get in return to a particular risk. Okay, it's just a metric they use to measure the amount they're going to get in return to a particular proportion of risks in, in a particular trade. So let's take for example, uh, you have $100 in your account and you, you, you are entitled or you, your decision is just to risk a particular percentage or a particular dollar amount to a particular trade. And you want to risk, uh, you're risking $1 per trade, all right? So taking a, a risk to reward of one is to one means if you take a trade that you're risking uh, one dollar, your target is to gain one dollar. So you're risking one dollar to gain one dollar. So your risk to reward, your risk to reward is one is to one. You're risking one dollar to gain one dollar. Taking a risk to reward of uh, one is to two, it means for every dollar that you risk, you're targeting two dollars. All right. On this side of the spectrum, that's how you start being a profitable trader. When every dollar you risk, you're targeting uh, $2. That's a risk to reward of 1 is to 2. If you take a risk to reward of 1 is to 3, it means from that your account balance, if you risk $1, if you place a trade and you risk $1, maybe uh, you put a stop loss of 0 0.01 and your stop loss is maybe below your, 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 your stop loss shows that if the trade goes against you, you're going to be able to lose $1. And the trade goes on your favor, you'll be gaining uh, $3. So that, that your ability to risk $1 in that trade and target and have a target of $3 is what they call a risk to reward of 1 is to 3. So risk to reward just measures how much you can risk in that trade uh, as compared to how much you can gain if the trade goes your way. Alright? So, let me just dive into my chart and show you some examples of uh, of, of how to calculate uh, risk to reward. So here we are on my we are on my chart. So let me just uh, clear this one off. Let me clear this off. Let me just make my chart clean. All right. So here we, you can see this chart is the I think this this one is the gold S U uh, S A U U S Z. This one is the gold chart. And talking about a risk to reward, the, the market is presently closed. The market is presently closed because today is Saturday. But talking about a risk to reward, the first point, if you can take just one point from this video today, just know that your risk to reward for any trade should always be at least one is to three. That means for every trade that you place on your on your chart, the risk if you are risking one dollar, your target should be at least three dollars. So if you are risking uh, ten dollars on that trade, your target should be at least thirty dollars. If you okay, let's talk now in terms of pips. Let's talk in terms of pips. If you are risking ten pips, your target should be at least thirty pips. That's why I'm talking of uh, 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 one is to uh, one is to three. When you are taking trades of at least one is to three. Uh, even if you have 40% accuracy, that means out of 10 trades, you have uh, six, tra six trades which are losers and only four which are winners. You're still going to be able to make money all the times in Forex. That's the secret. That's the secret your guru won't tell you. That's the secret your mentor won't tell you. If you have a risk to reward of at least one is to three, even out, even if you have a 40% accuracy, you're still going to be able to make, you're still going to be able to make money all the times. That's why people think it's magic when we, we make money in Forex all the time, but it's not magic. It's you just knowing how to manage risks and knowing how to use uh, the risks and the risks to reward. So, okay, let me come here. Let's see how we can calculate uh, the risks to reward for this particular trade. So, taking this gold chart as an example, right? 
uh, we know we know we know very well that somewhere around here, somewhere around here, we had uh, uh, we had a support somewhere here. You can see it's very clear. We had our support zone somewhere here. So let's just draw this zone. If you can go back, you can see it was a potential zone right from behind. So we had a zone there, and we also had a zone here. This is just trading with support and resistance. Not comp not nothing complicated. All right. This is just trading with support and resistance. So we had our zone here, our zone here, and we had another zone somewhere here. So let's just put this again here. That's why I used to tell you every day, treat support and resistance as a zone, not as a line. So we had a zone here, a zone here, a zone here. Now, if we zoom out to the present chart, let's just assume the price was here. Because by the beginning of last week, the price was somewhere here, right? So we want to take our trade here. This is how you apply support and resistance. Because if you can check, this is how you apply risk to reward to trading. If you can check from behind, you see that here there was a support, support. So now we just want to take our trade. The strategy here is for us to take our trade based on support and resistance. All right, nothing complicated. So we want to take our trade at this particular level. And if you can see very clearly, we had consolidation here. The market break this the, the support came back there was still consolidation and uh this clearly was a, a, a head and shoulder there was a shoulder head and another shoulder so this was a head and shoulder pattern which was a reversal pattern because of that reversal pattern or because of any point of confluence that you have we decided that okay it was time for us to take our trade so we calculated where was our target if we're taking our trade here we're targeting somewhere around here all right so what we have to calculate now is if our risk to reward is going to be at least 1 is to 3. If our risk to reward is not going to be at least 1 is to 3, then don't take the trade. Let me show you how to calculate if your risk to reward is going to be at least 1 is to 3. You just go here or any tool. You can be any broker or any software or any, uh, any app you're using to trade. All right. So let's just assume we, we, we're taking our trade from this point. We, when we take our trade from this point, our target is here. This is our target. And our stop loss is somewhere around here. Okay, our stop loss is somewhere around here. So, if in terms of pips, you see we're risking how many pips? We're risking 13 pips, and our target is how many pips here? Our target is uh, uh, 22 pips. So that's a risk to reward of how much? That's a risk to reward of 1.68 something. So. For you to maintain, for you to make sure you have a, a risk to reward to take that particular trade, it means you have to take your stop loss. If you take your stop loss to around here, uh, let me just say, uh, yes, if you take your stop, you can see here, the, here this, this app, this software already been calculates everything for us because you can see here, it says risk to reward. So the, our risk to reward here is three. Means we're risking seven, uh, we're risking seven dollars, and our target is twenty-two dollars. So I'm just using this one uh, on on one hour. Remember, this is a one hour time frame. If we're talking about four hour time frame, maybe you'll be risking fifty dollars to to have one hundred and fifty dollars. You'll be risking one hundred dollars to have at least three hundred dollars. So this is just an example on a one hour time frame. So on this one hour time frame, if this trade, if you wanted to take this trade, it means your stop loss wasn't going to be anything above. Uh, uh, above seven pips all right so if you took the trade here your stop loss was going to be somewhere around here somewhere uh around the seven pips, and then your target is supposed to be somewhere around here for you to be able to risk so this one you are risking seven pips to make 22 pips all right so even if the, the spread is uh the spread the margin and the commission everything is subtracted you're still going to be coming out profitable so you're risking seven pips to make 22 pips if if even if you okay if you keep going up if you keep going up because remember i said your risk to reward should start from one is to three there are sometimes there are sometimes majority of the times and most of my trade my risk to reward is one is to five one is to five so let's just assume remember let remember this is another target somewhere here this is another target so let's just assume this trade was taken on monday if this trade was taken this is a live chart if this trade was taken on monday by now we would have already hit uh, our, our our first target our first target of one is to three would have already been hit would, would have already been in profit of already one is to three bang already but now i could still go for this target because if i zoom if i zoom in i'll see that this was a potential zone and you're going to see this from monday from monday just check you're going to see this market there's a high probability high probability in trading you have to know how to use the right terminology 
Nobody knows for certain in, in, in trading where the market is going. Nobody knows in certain, for certain in Forex where the market is going to change direction. All right, because you don't know what is going to happen with the US economy. You don't know what is going to, going to happen to the Great Britain pound. So since we're trading with different economies, with different currency pairs, you don't know for certain, but you have the probability. You have parameters that help you to be able to make informed decision. But from the information we, we know and we have, we know that the market has the potential to change direction around here. So even if we take our target from year to year, you see that's a, a risk to reward of one is to almost about one is to 5.8. A risk to re a reward of almost about one is to six. If you just go up a little bit, that's a risk to reward. You can see risk to reward of one is to six. So if I'm risking, if I'm risking seven pips here, my target is 45 pips, which is very, very feasible. It's very doable. This is very, very doable because you can see the market has already hit the first target. And by next week, this is even, even if you haven't taken this trade by the open by on, on Monday, by the, by the market open, if you have the opportunity to enter somewhere here, if the market gives you any, info, any direction or any point of confidence that the original trend is going to continue, you can enter with the buy here. Enter with a buy year with a target of at least one is to three, risk to reward of at least one is to three, you're still gonna be able to make money. Alright, you're still gonna be able to make money. So you see for this trade, our target, if our target was here, we already uh, hit the target for the first zone. Now we, we, we're targeting our, our second zone. At this at the market open, if the price gets around here, you can take your stop loss from here to somewhere around here. Alright? You can take your stop loss from there to there. So you can see the power. You see the power of knowing how to use risk to reward in trading. If you know how to use a risk to reward in trading, you wouldn't you wouldn't worry yourself. Even if you, it's very fine in forex when you lose some trade. It's very fine in forex if some trade don't go your way. It's very fine in forex when you play some trade and you discover that okay, this one was a loser. But now, how much are you making for the ones that are actually winners? That's what makes us what makes us uh, uh, profitable in forex, or what makes us million in forex every day, is the ability for us to make more than what we lose. You understand? It's our ability to be able to make more than what we lose. We make more, we make millions every day. We lose millions every day, but the millions that we make are more than the ones that we lose. That's why we stay profitable, uh, consistently profitable. That's why we make money all the time. So for you to be able to join that spectrum of professional trader, to trade like to trade like a professional. You have to be able to use this parameter of risk is to reward. Only go for trade that have a risk to reward of at least one is to three and above. So if you have gotten some value from this video, please hit the uh, thumbs up. Uh, give me a big thumbs up. Give me a big thumbs up. I actually need that to show me that you got some value from this video. And also hit the subscribe button below to subscribe to the channel if you want me to come up with more videos like this to help you stay profitable as a forex trader. To then, I'm going to see you on the next video.